Hey team, Bangers here again. Quick update on this Massport Craftsman. This is a 40 year old mower, which is pretty cool. You can see my other video uh, on rebuilding and getting it going. Today, when I, when I ran it last time, I noticed that it was shaking like a leaf. So one of the problems is, is the blade on this is old as the hills. It's probably as old as the mower. I'll show you now how it cuts, and you saw that in the other video, but it just, the whole mower shakes because the blade is out of balance. So I'll give you a show of this, and I've got a solution to uh, get that uh, back on track. So here we go. I've had it running, by the way. It's a little bit hard to start. It cuts okay, but the blade, I'll take you inside and I'll show you. It's absolute toast. Let's go. So I'll rip the blade off. I've got my trusty block of timber, timber here. Put this mower all the way back. I think this is the one that worked last time. Yeah, it did. All right, so I've got that. I was doing this before, so I've got this as a 14 mil. All right. Off she comes. And there you go. So, all right, you know, get that collar out of there. Come on, baby. There we go. So, no secret, I had that off last time, so it came off easy. But look at the state of that blade. <laughs> look, that, that bit's non-existent, right? That's not cutting anything. So you saw there, it was going around and around, okay? And it was absolutely shaken. And you can, you can, balance, things, you can balance these things up now, you can just do it, you can just do it quickly here like this, right? It's, you're never gonna, you know, I don't get too weird up about these things, but I've had them on knife, bl knife blocks and all sorts of stuff. And actually, I used to do it on a bit of round, on a bit of round stock. So, and you could get it to sit perfectly in the middle, but there's, absolutely no way this blade is gonna it just it's it's not balanced it's worn away so bad now i couldn't get this style of blade well i could i could i searched for it and it was a total carry-on right and i was like no nah, not interested and it would have been like so way expensive i can put this down so the fuel so all the fuel don't leak out of it so I went, I thought to myself, I went to the mower shop, I said, what are we doing for these these days? Shit, mate, you're dreaming. It's, that, that's an old mower, it's a 40 year old mower. But there's these holes here, and she's like, just put swing mounts on it. So this is converting a straight blade into a swing mount, so, uh, or a swing blade, or whatever you call them, right? Let's get into it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop this off, I'm gonna balance the blade, oh, sorry, I'm gonna chop these, I'm gonna chop these ends off, I'm gonna, until it's just the flat section, then I'm going to drill these holes that will take the right size for these pins that let these blades swing. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit on the linisher, then I'm gonna balance it as best I can, then I'm gonna put these blades on and see how we go. So, let's do it. So these marks aren't exactly equal. I'm gonna try and go to where it's still got a flat, which is kind of about there. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna leave myself enough room for that this hot that size of hole, which we should we should, we should check how big that hole is. To be honest, got a stairling on. No, there we go. There we go. That'll get her. Right, these are out of power equipment spares, mass port. Yeah, fair enough. Whoop, losing the stuff already. So, there's our wavy washer. Right, I'm keep those. That goes in between everything. There's a little diagram on the back here of how you put these together, but I mean, you know, you can't work that out. You need to go have a, you need to go have a lie down. And uh, I've done enough mowers. I just got it off the top of my head, but I'll run you through it so you, so you know. All right, that's a dead marine. So, we need enough. There's a diameter here. We've got the vernier calipers. 
So this, this will be the bit that there's a little collet there, a little shoulder, and that's the part that is, doesn't allow this to clamp tight. So we will measure that. Zero, like it flies in here. And we need a hole of, that's 12.74 that's or 12.8 if I give it a bit of a spin. So we're gonna go a 13 mil hole. Guess what? We've got 13 mil drill bits, that's fantastic. So we'll do that. 13 mil, that's what we need to know. Turn that off, put that away. And so we need 13 mil on either side of this, which is fine. We're gonna have about 15 choice. All right, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go 110. No, we're gonna go 120. We're gonna go 120 either side. It's pretty well in the middle. Now remember, we're gonna have to balance, we're gonna have to balance this, so we'll work that out. Now we'll go, that's pretty close to the middle. There's nothing here to work off that's square. I think I'm just gonna have to um, judge it by eye with the, with the slitting disc. Yep, Let, let's do that. There we go. There we go. There's already, there's already holes in this thing. Right, so there's already these random holes here. All right, I don't know what they're for, but okay, they're probably balance holes. The way they balance the blade after it's already been manufactured. But they're pretty well aligned. I'm just gonna go through here. Now normally, if, I, if this was, I was being a bit more precise, I'd get this in the drill press and I'd make a situation for it. Right, and be a bit precise, but the hole's are already there, so I'm not overthinking it. It's a 40 year old mower. It's not going up, the king's not using it, right? Here we go. Right there, we'll come down to speed for this big drill. Ugh, flies in locked off. There we go. Oh, that's hard stuff. Gonna get a bit of lube on there. A bit of cutting lube on this big drill bit. There we go. Oh yeah, she gooey. Here we go. Nice. I wonder what that blade's made out of. She definitely, definitely, Mate, gave the drill a hard time. Whatever this blade's out of, made out of, it work hardened immediately, which I wasn't really expecting, so, but hey, lesson learned. So, our last resort is this bad boy. Now, let's see if this will, this thing's, these uh, step drills are a bit, are pretty wild, and I've had good success with them. So we need to be careful. Where's the one that's 13 mil is what we need to ask ourselves. It's the sixth one. So we go one, two, three. Four. Five, six. Oh, excellent. That's, those step drills are the best. Lube him up. So six. One, two, three. Three. Four. Five. Six. Ooh. 
What happened there? We nearly overshot it. Couldn't really see what was going on. Let's back that up on this side. We've got no burr. There we go. So we need something a little harder than just average speed steel to get through that hardened blade. Well, sorry. I reasonably expect it work hard and so whatever the steel content is, I'm no, I'm no genius when it comes to that stuff. You get the idea. Cool. We'll work it out. Huh. That's in there perfect. That's great. So that's where we need to be. So we'll end up being like that up from underneath with a spring washer in the middle. So we're getting somewhere. I just linish that up so that these, when they'll put the friction washers on everything, it's got something nice to go against. So we're gonna have this mounts up under that way and takes in that receiving piece that's in there. Then this is gonna be underneath and we're gonna have our blades going yeah, that goes clockwise, so it's going to be going this way. That's housed in there. That one goes up underneath. The, the wave washer goes in between. Then we put the securing nut on top. Yeah, there's 15 on the other side. So we're going to make sure, we've got to make sure this is in the right spot when we do it up. Oh, that's looking good. See, that they've, they've got to be kind of tight, but not too tight, right? So I might just tighten them up. Because you remember, they're going, they're going pretty well flat out. All right. Oh, what's that in there? There we go. Nice. That's beautiful. That's one. Get the other one. Oh, there I went. Beautiful. Right, so they're swinging. That's great. This one could just be a little bit, oh no, that's fine. So see, you want, them to, you want them to like move when they hit something, yeah? That's gonna be spinning like that. New blade, perfect. New blade there. It's gonna swing out of the way if it needs to. Right, that's great so far. Right, so we might have to just use this, this bit of rod. Make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. Make sure our blades are straight. Right, so the blades are straight to each other on that straight edge. Now we'll sit them on this dowel, right in the middle. Oh, not that's not too bad. Right, I used to have a little bouncy thing that I used to use, but like if I tip it either way, it ends up landing down. All right, I'm not going to mess with that. That's pretty good. Right, it's a little maybe it's a little heavy. Then this isn't perfect, right? Pretty good, I'm happy with that. I know that's probably not a great shot, but. So that goes on up under that way, like that, right? There's plenty of clearance for everything. Where's our friend, the... there it is, there's the bolt. Now I had a bit of spray on that before, so I won't worry about it this time. And then, just getting that done up. Making sure it's located in the, on that collet as well as the, on that drive bar. Yep, there we go. Oh, there we go, nice and tight. There we go. Don't hurt up on that, you know, you just you don't need to, just give it a good blap. Right, there we go. So we'll go out and see, uh, see how she runs now. I think we're gonna be pleasantly surprised. I had to change the shot there because the sun's going down. It's a beautiful afternoon here and the sun was just beaming down on us, which is fantastic. But I'll get this going now. Let's bring it up here, out of the way. And we'll give it a shot. So we're on, uh, we're on about halfway there. She's still warm. Oh, choke.
<laughs> there you go. I just love this thing. Cutting again perfectly like it was 1984. There you go. So if you want to turn your, if you've got a straight blade and you want to put swing mounts on it, it's literally that easy. And I think it'll speak for itself. It was stopped a couple of times there. I think that was due to, there's not a lot of fuel in it. It's just sucking a bit of air and the carby probably needs a bit of a clean out, but we're not going to go too much further with it. It's, an, it's, been, it's been an awesome project. And to see this old girl live again and mowing, uh, I'm pretty stoked. And to have it, have a fresh set of blades on it, uh, yeah. Pretty stoked. Happy projecting.